What's going on guys? For today's video, I have a really sought after keyboard lighting design. The design is called Scatterbrain. What a lot of people really like about this design is the ripple effect. It's really quite unique. It's not your traditional ripple. It's a ripple that scatters all over the keyboard and it looks kind of cool. I also put my own little twist on this design and added multiple color options that you guys can choose from to make this design whatever you guys want. This design was made popular by Puff and Pluky's top 15 razor chroma effects video but the design was originally pulled from the razor website for razor synapse 2 keyboards so the design was originally uploaded by the user bad luck jack which if you have a razor synapse 2 compatible device you can still go to the razor website and download that profile for those devices. I'm gonna show you guys how to make this lighting design on razor synapse 3 but before I do Please make sure you hit that like button below, hit that subscribe button and the bell icon. That way you guys see upcoming keyboard lighting videos. We're going to get right into this one guys. This is Scatterbrain. So the first layer on our spectrum cycling, we're going to click these three dots and we're going to change this to a static. And this can be whatever color you want to match what the original user did. I'm just going to make all of these pink. Next, we're gonna come down here on the bottom left and we're gonna add a wave layer. And this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna hold control and use our scroll wheel to zoom in on our keyboard. And once we get to a good spot, we're going to select all of the keys on our keyboard. Click on your color drop down, and we're going to use a five pattern wave. Now with this five color gradient, what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on this first node and we're going to delete it. Same thing with the last node, we're gonna click on that and we're gonna delete that as well. Now you should have just three nodes remaining. With this first one, we're gonna make it invisible. The last one, we're also gonna make invisible. And here's where we're gonna to start to make our color changes. In this middle node, we're just gonna slide this over a little bit and we're going to make this a blue color, kind of somewhere in between light blue and dark blue. Now that we have the blue that we want, if we hit this addition button right here, it's going to copy this node and give us a fourth one. So this color gradient is actually perfect. I'm going to click off of there and I'm going to increase the pause time to one second. And I'm also going to check my split option here and everything else can stay exactly the same. I'm going to hit save. Now what I did to try and match what the original user did for this design is I did this right here and I also selected the bottom left quadrant of my keyboard including my Razer logo right here. And then while holding control you can select the upper right quadrant of your keyboard as well. Now with these two sections selected we're just going to change the angle over to 270 degrees and we're gonna hit save. So this is what you have to do to get very close to the actual keyboard lighting that is on the design scatterbrain before the ripple effects. Now if you have additional razor devices, what you're gonna do is hold control and start to zoom out with your scroll wheel. And as soon as it starts to move, you can continue holding control and tap the zero button and it will auto center all of your devices on your screen. Now, if you want this blue wave on your other peripherals, it's really pretty easy. All I did to match my other devices was select the lower left quadrant. So I'm gonna choose the bottom left and upper right. And I'm just gonna hit control C to copy that. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to select the lower portions, the lower left portions of my desktop setup. So I'm gonna select these right here, and I'm also gonna select the upper right. Just like on my keyboard, I'm gonna choose the lower left and upper right portions of my razor setup. And I'm just gonna paste the effects in there. And now I'm gonna click off of those keys and then reselect them just like that and I'm going to change the color code just a tiny little bit because as you can see it's kind of messed with our timing on our keyboard you can see it doesn't have the same pattern because it's encompassing a much greater area 
So to get this fixed, you have to change the color that is on your peripheral lighting. So if we click on the, our blue and we change the second, fourth, or sixth value by one unit. So I'm just gonna change this A to a B. If we do that, you can see now on our keyboard, our timing is back to normal and it's not all messed up. And I'm just gonna do that with the other effect. So we have our lower right and upper left. I'm gonna copy that. I'm gonna select all of my lighting effects that are in those areas of my setup. Paste that in there, click off, select those devices again. You can see the timing's messed up on the keyboard. It's not really doing what we want it, so I'm gonna change my blue once again. Change the last digit to a B instead of an A. Hit save. And now we have all of our devices tailored toward this keyboard lighting effect. Now the last step, which really is easier than it looks, is the staggered ripple effect that is so famous for this keyboard lighting design. On the bottom left, we're gonna go ahead and add our ripple layer. And then once again, we're gonna hold control and just zoom in on our keyboard. Now with this new ripple layer selected, we are going to select all of our keys on our keyboard. We're going to click on our color dropdown and choose a single color pattern. And with this single color pattern to match what they did, I'm going to make it white. The speed of this ripple is going to be down at a three and we're going to reduce our percentage to 200%. We're also going to change our playback from start on press to start on selected keys. And the reason I do this is so that I don't get ripple effects when I click my mouse. I only get a ripple effect when I touch my keyboard. Ending after one time is perfect and we're gonna hit save. So now you can see I have just a regular ripple effect that just kind of ripples out away from whatever key I press. To get this staggered effect, this is what you have to do. Hold control and we're going to just select every other key on our keyboard, kind of like a checkerboard pattern. So these are the keys I decided to select for my checkerboard pattern. And what I'm going to do with just these keys is I'm going to up the speed to four. So every other key will be just one unit of speed different. And what that does to the ripple effect is it creates a really staggered effect on your keyboard that make it, makes it look like it's scattering all over the keyboard. So as you can see, it's no longer a standard ripple that kind of circles out away from where you press. It's now staggered all over your keyboard. When you press a lot of buttons, it looks pretty cool. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button and bell icon. That way you guys see upcoming keyboard lighting videos. As always, you can follow me on my social media accounts to get insights as to what I'll be uploading next. You can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and you can also find me on Twitch. Thank you guys so much, and I'll see you guys in the next one.